Hi, this is Grace Cutton. As you can see, we're on the Twitter site today. I'm hoping to focus specifically on professional networking and job searching using Twitter. Now, I'll be perfectly honest, when I first heard about Twitter, which was really some time ago, I just couldn't get it. I didn't see the point. I didn't know why anybody would care what I was up to. And you only get 140 characters to update people. It just really didn't make sense to me. I sort of thought of it as kind of like on Facebook where it says, what are you doing right now? And I just really couldn't understand why anybody would care if I was making lasagna or doing my laundry. And I started to research it a little bit further and realize there's a lot more to Twitter than initially meets the eye. So if you haven't already joined the conversation, um, definitely go ahead and create an account. What I'm going to do is bring you to what a page looks like before um, you create an account if you haven't logged in. This is what my public page looks like and what anybody who um, wants to check out my page, this is what they're going to see. Um, information that I've posted, shared with others, um, replied to others is basically this main section over here. On this little box is a brief bio that I create and then you can see who my followers are and who I am following and that really is the key to the networking aspects of Twitter. You can also see sort of uh, thumbnails of some of the folks that I'm following right now. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and you see a very similar sort of a page. Um, when I click home and you get this navigation bar up here and basically you see the profile which was the page we were on earlier, your home page gives you this update box and this is where you submit your tweets. If you are going to be using Twitter using the, the um, website on via a browser. Now we can talk later on, perhaps in subsequent videos, about some of the other tools that you can use to, uh, to use Twitter. Anyhow, like I said, you tweet in this box and you hit update. Hopefully uh, this will work this time. I tried this earlier and it didn't quite work, but I'm back um, taping another Mr. Video. Okay, hopefully you saw that. It updated right away on this page and now any of the 154 followers that I have will see that update. So that's kind of handy, but how exactly do you figure out who to follow and um, how do you develop followers? I'm really going to focus primarily on, on um, how to develop who to follow for you. Um, if you're a college student or a recent grad, one of the biggest challenges being on campus is that you don't really um, have access to a lot of the professionals that you may want to network with. So Twitter is a great way to connect you um, and it's you're, you're not bound by geographic location. Okay, so how do you find people? One way is to be reading in your industry. Reading blogs, for example, you may already be familiar with the Sweet Careers blog because you're watching this video. Um, a lot of blogs will have a little button that says follow me. So if you've found some professionals in your industry that you think are doing some interesting things, go ahead and start following them on Twitter. You can click the button or if they say let you know what their uh, Twitter um, username is, you can just go ahead and go to Twitter and type in their username at the top here. Another great tool for finding out people in the industry um, is Alltop. I'm on the marketing page, but if you just go to alltop.com, you can uh, search different industries and type in the topic. Um, public relations, branding, marketing, PR, and when you click that, you'll get a list of blogs that have made it to Alltop and you can start figuring out, you know, um, potential people to follow. I'm actually running out of time on uh, this particular video, so follow uh, me to the next video, part two.